This is my chair where I sit in the mornings to do my devotionals. I have my Bible at hand, my coffee cup, my devotional books, and the blanket to throw over my legs. I learned that having a soft blanket helps me to be aware of the soft presence of Jesus. And this is my place because from here I can turn and I can look at the fireplace which I use in the winter and then I have this image of Jesus that Carol painted making me aware that he is present with me. The giraffes are my token animal because I received a blessing comparing me to a giraffe. I have the cross as a reminder that it's all by the cross of Christ and I have a little wood carving that is Mary and Joseph and the child that was given to me by a friend. These things help me to know and to be aware that I am in the presence of God. In the fourth chapter of the book of Joshua, tells the story of the Hebrew people entering the uh, land of Canaan, eventually to become the land of Israel, and they do so by having the priests carry the Ark of the Covenant, which has the bread of manna, has uh, Aaron's rod and the Ten Commandments inside of it. And, and they carry the Ark of the Covenant, signifying the presence of God, into the middle of the Jordan River. And as their feet touch the Jordan River, the waters pile up on one side. And just like the people crossed over under Moses through the sea on dry land, so too the people enter across the Jordan or the bed of the Jordan River while the priests stand in the middle of the river. And then when the people are done, Joshua has them do two things. Uh, first of all, they take a pillar of stones and they put it in the middle of the river. And then secondly, one strong man from each of the 12 tribes picks up the largest stone he can find from the riverbed. And they carry them and take them to the ground and there they build an altar to the Lord out of the 12 stones. And the purpose of it becomes a reminder of what the Lord has done for them and becomes for them a symbol of the presence of God. In the same way, I invite you to set aside places to pray in your homes. After all, is that not what you're doing when you set the Christmas decorations in place? Are you not decorating all these things in a way of reminding yourself of how Christ has been present with you in times past and in the hope and expectation that he will be with you in times present? Times present. Let us pray. Jesus, we give you thanks that through very physical times and places, you make your invisible presence known to us. We pray that, especially this Christmas season, uh, when we have often felt challenged to be aware of your presence this year, may the signs and the places remind us of the promises that you have given to us, our experiences of you in the past, so that we might be present with you. We know you are present with us, and we pray that we might recognize that this Christmas season, well, indeed, in every season. Amen. So be it. So be it for me. So be it for you.